Hey guys, welcome back. Welding with Chris Dot Tanner, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to weld with uh, with this ER70 CG. It's a TIG wire, of course, but uh, it's hollow in the center. I'm going to try to show you. <clears throat> See that there? Maybe you can get a good look at that. Maybe, maybe not, but it's hollow in the center, and the center is actually filled with a flux. So if I was to turn this rod upside down, see that? Flux is going to come out of it. And this is what you call an ER70 CG rod. Um, it's like a carbon alloy rod. Um, what I'm welding on today is a 10-inch heavy wall carbon pipe. Uh, it's preheated to about 450 degrees, give or take. Um, let me show you what I got going on. This right here is a 532 gap. At least you got it in some places. Some places it, it's actually a little bit wider. It might be a 316. I think you see at the bottom. But that's what I was actually explaining in that last video. Sometimes, if you're out in the field, you don't get a perfect fit. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to use a technique that I'm going to teach you. And it's called, I call it, bridging technique. It's not a hard technique, but you actually need somebody to show you how to do it. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, in one of my videos, I'll be doing it here shortly. And let me go ahead and run a little bit of this wire right here. And... Um, Get back with you. That's the motion right there. Side to side. That's all you do. Side to side. You want to keep that rod a little bit below the bevel. Side to side. Inside the pipe. Side to side. It's almost like back feet. But fret not yourselves. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's hot as hell out here in Texas. Oh my goodness. As you can see, this is not water on my face. This is actually sweat. So, um, in this hooch right here, it's about, about 95 degrees right now. And I'm surrounded by this preheat, which is 400 degrees, and then I'm in a hooch. And then I got the leather on, pads. So it's real in the field. You get paid money, but you gotta know your craft. You can't be uh, no BSing out in the field. You can BS in the shop. But listen, you gotta get it the way I'm gonna show you. If not, a lot of times you don't survive. We got guys out here. Oh, that was sick, man. Oh, we got guys out here um, that, uh, that's been welding for uh, many years. And uh, they get them all the time. You got these QCs out in the field where they actually want a certain amount of penetration when it comes to this uh, x ray pipe. And uh, you got to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, they, they, they're going to see right through it. And, uh, you're going to lose that good money job. Okay. And we don't want that to happen. So I'll get back with you. Just keep watching. Subscribe if you like it. Um, ask me questions and um, stay tuned.